Hello and welcome to the Set On My Butt channel. I've got a beard oil here from UK brand Wild Hair for review. Yes, Wild Hair, wildhairuk.co.uk is where you will find them. Is, I'm going to hold up my hands, a brand that I had previously not heard of. Now that is not down to the efforts of this brand of putting themselves out there in the beard care world. It's down to this old boy here who admits that he hasn't, over the past couple of years, paid as much attention as he once would to the beard care world, except for the brands that I've reviewed for and I've previously followed, if that makes sense. In fact, this beard oil here was sent to me by a beard care brand that I've reviewed for before. That says a lot about this beard oil, and I'm so glad they did, because if I had stopped the review here and said one thing, it would be, wow. Seriously, wow. Now... There's the bottle there. This one here is called Rose and I fell for it. I thought it was a rose scented beard oil. In fact, these beard oils, these products here are named after, well, they're named after serial killers. And you've got things like Brady and Harold and Peter, Joanna. And part of me is like, ooh, that's a bit. And yet the other part of me is like, oh, I really love that. And see by there, you've got the top half of a, a like caricature of this person with a hair lower face and it says on the beard oil at the side tame that hair he thinks he says tame that hair or is it your hair tame that hair he was right should trust my memory and it just really really works and got like the scent in a, a band along the side there the branding works so well but the beard oil works even better now this is a blend of camellia tree oil grapeseed oil castor oil and rosehip oil and so very much like or unlike anything that I've tried in the beard oils blend before, camellia tea oil. I'm sure I've not had that one before. And it's a beautiful blend. It's some in your hand and work it through your beard. And it's just got a lovely feel to it. It really is a beautiful consistency. Slightly thicker than the usual beard oils. You know, it's going from medium into thick. Certainly not the thickest I've ever used by a long way. But it's just got a very nice consistency and the results are, well, you're going to love it. If I say to you, Go now, go buy yourself a bottle, choose a scent, you are really going to love it. It is really, really nice, lovely soft beard and obviously going to take care of all the skin under it. Blah, 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 that I've told you so many times before. Cracking, cracking beard oil. Now the scent. Now, when I first popped some in my hand and warmed it up, scent can um, bring forth memories and it can create memories. And as soon as I dropped that in, I was taken back to when I first started reviewing beard care back in 2015 or was this into 2016 wow it reminded me very much of a scent called marshmallow from another brand and i can tell you that's a good thing this is patchouli bergamot and sweet orange and that beautiful earthy sort of pungent florally patchouli in there with that sweet citrusness just smells so damn good. It really does. It is a cracking, cracking scent blend in an absolutely beautiful oil. 30 mil, 12.99 or 16.99 from wildhairuk.co.uk without a doubt. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much to the person that sent this in for review and the owner of Wild Hair has actually said that they're going to send through one of their uh, zip conditioning balm or something for review as well. It's so also an introduction to a new brand. And this is one that's going to be going on my favourites list. I'm going to put it in there in the beard oils. Go and check this one out without any doubt. Wildhairuk.co.uk And that is that. There's nothing more to say other than just wow. Take care.